Well, let's get to a Sun News exclusive first. New details emerging about the Toronto suspect uh, involved in the foiled terror plot at the Via Rail uh, tracks. Raid Jasir's brother-in-law speaks up. Rebecca Thompson has more on that story. Yes, Pat, good morning. Well, we're learning more about Rahid Jasser. Uh, this is one of the two who were ac was accused of uh, planning a, a bomb to blow up the Via Rail train between Ontario and New York. Now, our own Joe Warmington, in fact, interviewed the brother-in-law of Rahid Jasser, the 35-year-old from Toronto. Uh, the brother-in-law, in fact, revealed that the family was shocked to learn about the charges against Jasser. Take a listen. How are you related, Joseph? He's married to my sister. Okay, uh, how, how big a shock has this been to you and your family? Uh, big shock, very big shock for everybody. Very big shock and we don't, uh, we don't have any comment at this moment. Even the lawyer doesn't know nothing about it, so... We're just hey. waiting to hear the news from the RCMP and see what's happening exactly and why is this happening. Now, uh, we also learned from the brother-in-law in this interview with our own Joe Warmington from the Toronto Sun, Pat, that the brother-in-law would have called 911 had he known about this. Now, there's been questions raised about the origins of Jasser. Is, if he originally came from the United Arab Emirates, we do know from uh, his, his uh, yesterday from his court appearance and from his judge that, in fact, he, is, he has been in Canada for two decades. He's not a Canadian citizen uh, yet, but he has been in Toronto for, uh, for close to two decades. Decades now. Now, the end of the interview with Joe, the brother in law, uh, offered up some new information about Jasser's origin, country of origin, and some of his background, which contradicts a little bit of what we heard yesterday. Take a listen. Uh, you know this guy, you've known him for seven years at least. Yep. Uh, he's I know from him for he's, the longest time. Or? Did you meet him in Canada? I met him in Canada. Yeah. He's Iranian background, right? No, no, no. He's, uh, he's actually he's been 20 years in the country. Where's his home country? His home country, I believe, uh, could be Jordan, Jordanian. Oh, so he's. But I know he's a Canadian, so I don't know. Yeah. His background, like family, race-wise, could be Jordanian. Jordanian. Yeah. Is he a Palestinian, uh, like a refugee or something? Uh, no, he's Jordanian, Jordanian, and I'm from Israel. My background is Israeli. He's Jordanian. So. Are you Israeli yes. citizen? I'm an Israeli citizen. Yeah, yes. and, uh, and a Canadian citizen. And a Canadian. Yeah. And he's not a Canadian citizen. He's a landed immigrant. He's a landed immigrant. Yes. Sir. Now, Pat, we'll be bringing you more of this interview today. What we did learn in this interview that Joe Warmington had with the brother-in-law, Joseph, of uh, Ray Jasser, is that Jasser, in fact, drove a school bus. We also have learned information about uh, Jasser with regards to his involvement in uh, the business of, uh, of the brother-in-law and the fact that he was supporting the business. Uh, we'll, we're, we'll learn more of uh, as the day goes on as we play more of this for you in terms of uh, the relationship of Jasser with with his wife and with his family um, and of course uh, we'll, we'll, we'll also learn more about exactly the two of these uh, individuals who are involved in this plot uh, from this interview with Joe Warmington. This is an exclusive interview. Now Jasser made a brief court appearance in Toronto yesterday. He will be remanded in custody until uh, May 23rd. Now police did indicate that the suspects were supported by Al-Qaeda elements in, in Iran. Uh, this, of course, is, uh, is the information that is, uh, is concerning to Canadians, the fact that this individual in Toronto, Jasser, the 35-year-old, one of the accused, uh, has spent two decades in Toronto. And in fact, the family was shocked. Uh, Jasser's wife, according to the brother-in-law in this interview, was shocked to learn about these charges. So uh, this is all very new information that we're learning. We'll play for you uh, throughout the day, Pat. Okay. Rebecca, thanks very much. Thank you. In Montreal, the uh, second suspect involved in the derailment terror plot will appear in court again. Jabe Esagayer is uh, expected to make an appearance in court today, just a day after representing himself in a Montreal court yesterday. Alex Mihailovic is in the Toronto newsroom with the latest there. Alex. Yeah, Pat, we're actually expecting him to be in a Toronto court today to make an appearance in this city. And now Esagayer is accused of conspiring to commit murder as well as being a part of a terrorist organization. Some even accuse 
accuse him of being the mastermind behind this whole plot. Now, what we do know about Asa Jair, he's 30 years old, from Montreal, uh, of no fixed address. We couldn't find out where this guy's living at this point, and police say he's actually one of those individuals, has no fixed address. He's originally from Tunisia. He's been in Canada for five years now. Now, according to reports, he's, uh, he's like I said, he has no fixed address, and he, when he appeared in court in Montreal, he defended himself. Now, the co-accused, unlike the co-accused, I should say, who we just heard about, Raid Jasser, uh, when it comes to Esajair, he didn't have anybody show up in court for him. There were no friends or families at the time. Esajair defended himself. He did not have a lawyer, and he pled not guilty. As mentioned, he's expected in court later today in Toronto. It's going to be interesting to see if, once again, he actually does defend himself and what his reaction is going to be in this courthouse here in Toronto, if there's going to be any difference between his testimony yesterday and what will be happening today here in this city. Pat? Okay, Alex, thanks very much. Thank you.